Hi everybody, we're going to show you some extra footage of Bianca Bunny. She's in the exercise pen next to me. And the chickens are walking around. So we'll show you a little bit. So this exercise pen for Bianca is about as small as I want an exercise pen to be. Um, this is something that she could use a significant amount of more space. So Bianca is um, quite a large doe. She has quite a bit of German in her. She's our blue-eyed white doe. And Bianca has always been very energetic. She's always 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 up for a lot of exercise a lot of hopping a lot of really good binkies and zoomies and just all sorts of bunny antics so a space like this Bianca prefers she's a bunny that prefers big spaces she prefers a lot of space and she actually prefers um, she loves being in the grass and she also loves being inside the house where she can just roam around. So that's the sort of space that Bianca really, really prefers. And you can see when she's in the exercise pen, the way that when she does move around a lot, the way that she moves for a rabbit of this size is quite restricted. For a rabbit as big as Bianca, we really want to be able to see her getting in a lot more hops. A rabbit can cover a lot of ground with just one hop. To keep a rabbit in good condition, it requires a very specific healthy diet. It has to have a rabbit, such as an Angora rabbit, has to have a certain amount of fiber, a certain amount of protein, certainly access to water, clean water at all times. Bianca does does really really well um, just foraging around in the grass. There's clover in the grass and that's what she's picking out. So Bianca's not afraid of, there's chickens walking around, she's not afraid of the chickens, there's cats walking around, she's not afraid of the cats, um, she is not afraid of the dog, she's not, she's just really a certain confident rabbit. She's not afraid of much and that's partially because she spends a long time uh, inside. She spends, she spends time in the house. And so she's really, really used to, and she, since a young age, she spent a lot of time in the house. She doesn't mind a lot of different sudden noises. She doesn't mind a lot of different activity at all. It doesn't bother her because that's what she is accustomed to. She's accustomed to a lot going on. Now, a rabbit like Bianca also keeping her healthy, it's more than, more than just diet, more than just what she is eating but it is also allowing her body the space to truly so she can truly move around and truly use her body because um, Bianca spends time in all sorts of different places whether it's the house whether it's outside in the exercise pen whether it is um, in the rabbit area in her indoor in her uh, covered pen there's a lot of different places that Bianca may be spending time and it that is simply because depending on what's going on in the house, depending on what's going on outside, depending on um, the situation, there's a variety of places which she may she may be spending time in. So that was just another great example of like a slight little zoomy there. She can't even do a full zoomy in a space like this because she is, you know, she's very much, uh, very much more restricted. Now, a rabbit such as Bianca can hop over the top of an exercise pen like this. And what happens with rabbits is once your rabbit figures out that it can hop over an exercise pen this tall, then that's it. Your rabbit knows it and you either need to find a taller pen 
or y you have to put uh, some sort of top on the pen because once a rabbit can figure it out, they know and they don't unlearn it. They don't stop. They don't forget that that's what they can do once they figure out how to escape. So the greens in the pen with Bianca are freshly cut apple twigs and apple sticks. So there's apple leaves on them and the twigs themselves. The grass, the twigs, the leaves, nothing has been sprayed. There's no chemicals used at all. There is nothing. Um, they're far enough away from the road. There's just really, they're just very, very healthy um, things for Bianca to, to nibble on and to eat. So access to hard things to chew on, such as the twigs, Bianca will take she, obviously she prefers the leaves first, the tender leaves, and then later on uh, she may chew on the bark if there's no leaves left or for something different she may chew on the bark. But the rabbit, so, uh, Bianca doesn't do much more than chew the bark off. So she doesn't take a twig, for example a more thick twig, and after the bark is removed she's not going to continue to chew down and chew on the wood. She's a rabbit that simply prefers to eat the greens off, eat the leaves off, uh, chew the bark off, and then the rest she'll just, she'll leave. And um, it's, very health, it's very healthy for her teeth to chew. It's very healthy just for her mental health, just um, her mind to be able to have something to do, to be able to have that, because rabbits spend a significant portion of their waking hours chewing and foraging and eating. And so giving a rabbit such as Bianca the opportunity to do what she wants to do, to do what she's um, made to do, is just, it just fits in naturally with her. So Bianca, um, she loves spending time with humans near and she will hop right up to us however that doesn't necessarily mean she wants to be held arthur doesn't mind being held he likes he loves his head scratched you can hold him and scratch his head bianca is a rabbit who she prefers it on her terms so she prefers to be by her humans on the ground and you can pet her while she's on the ground and otherwise um she just she lets you know that's her preference and she lets you know by she might get a little squirmy if I try to hold her for too long and too long is on Bianca's terms so she'll tell me she'll get a little squirmy when she doesn't want to be held and that may be shifting positions and um, no biting nothing no no scratching just just gets squirmy so that's when I know okay it's time to to set Bianca down give her a little bit of respect because she has a say in this matter as well. So you can hear when you have a rabbit in an exercise pen like this and the rabbit's outside, there's a, there's a wonderful breeze going on that's great uh, for the rabbit's respiratory health, it's great for the rabbit's, um, great for their wool, it's just great in general for the health of the, the rabbit to be outside. Fresh air, clean air, air that isn't full of pollution, air that is not uh, dusty, just really a clean environment and you can hear in an environment such as this you can hear Bianca actually chewing you can hear what it sounds like when her feet are hopping around and thudding on the ground and these are just these are just healthy good sounds that are coming from Bianca now Bianca is a rabbit that for whatever reason she just um, she can be a bit more uh, vocal than other rabbits so she kind of will let you know a little bit of grunting in vocalizing and that's sometimes when she's relaxed when she's chewing it'll kind of be like a um, just a gentle kind a uh, gentle kind of low sound that she makes this is different than when you're petting your rabbit and your rabbit makes like a teeth chattering sound when it's it's like a rabbit purr and that's also a sign of uh, content, being very content as a rabbit. So rabbits, when they are eating greens, naturally 
a wild rabbit will get a significant portion of its water content from the greens that it eats. Rabbits that are domestically fed pellets and that are fed hay need that supplement certainly of 100% all the time access to water because if they're not fed foods that contain a high content of water, they have to get the water from someplace else and that's typically from a water bottle. Again, Bianca's in the clover patch. She's not much, she's not scared. There was a robin that just flew by with a, a little, looks like a, some sort of caterpillar in its mouth. And she's not, she's not stunned by any of this. It doesn't shock her. She doesn't run scared. She doesn't thump. So I'm right, I'm sitting right here. She's just laid down a little bit in front of the laptop. And that's close by where I am. And that's pretty typical of Bianca. She'll choose to lay down close by us. She'll choose to lay down with us in view. And that's just something where that's what she prefers. She doesn't have to lay down and, and be in our lap, although sometimes she will crawl on us. But that's just Bianca in the exercise pen, just a little bit of extra conversation with how she is as a rabbit and what she what she is like. So it looks like she's she's ready for a little break. She's been in the exercise pen for quite a bit this morning. It's gonna be time for someone else to take their turn in the exercise pen. So uh, we will be trading her out.